Hello, my name is Ashley. Today I'm gonna paint for you a nice tulip. What better way to start the day? So, let's start to do the painting. All right, first we're gonna start with a little linseed oil. We're gonna make sure you really absorb it very good. Don't put too, too much the oil because if you put it later on you're gonna have a lot of bubbles and a lot of dripping so first i'm just gonna make over here a little tulip i want to make sure that all the linseed drink I don't want anything to drip. Okay, so always you have your papers or cloth or material to wipe your brushes, always. Make sure they become too chisel. And I wanna say, this, my brush is a nylon brush. It's very good for doing softer things, flowers and things like that. We're gonna do the background first. We're gonna do yellow with the uh, little crimson all right we're gonna start with yellow first make sure you put like good paint on your brush so we're gonna make the tulip make kind of a round like this like a cup but the top you can do whatever you want because the tulips are not straight, smooth, perfect. It can be closed, it can be open. Either way you want, you can do it. All right, there you go. There. Now we're gonna use Lizard Crimson. So what I have to do, I have to do a little bit here red because there will be flower over here coming this way. There is one in the middle, the petal, and could be one around here. So, and then let me put a little bit the bottom part. So this uh, box, when you have it, you can always clean your brushes on the box. And in case if you need it back, you can just take it back and you can continue just like this whatever however you want to do it all right this is i'm showing you like that make sure you wipe your towel your brush and because this is such a nice like i said soft brush it is make it chisel and try to bring it the colors softly Brush it always. Let's make nice round here. Let's make it the, the color to drink up, to blend it. Just like this here we have a blending brush this blending brush when I say it's like such a feathery brush it is so when you have like a lump or bump or anything you can take the blending brush and you blend it very very gently so it won't be any harsh points all right, you can use this plenty time all the time. Let's say here, you're making a, uh, you see all the brush strokes, for example, you just softly, very, very gently, like you whisper. Don't be afraid, it will be good. It will go left and right. 
the flower doesn't have any special uh, you know perfect should be doesn't have to be perfect we take a little bit lizard crimson we'll just make the the tips here and there just put it don't be afraid like you won't do any mistakes just take the blending brush and gently gently rub it when you have a blending brush it's really does very very beautiful job it saves your life see how beautiful it does I want to put a little bit bird sienna with a little lizard crimson to make a little bit the leaves separate the petals when you separate the petals it shows like kind of uh, uh, you know petals for you different petals over here we can make it just a little bit rounder always wipe your brush and then just blend them you can always add a little bit put more a little bit don't be afraid just go gently on top of your painting we can always correct them we can always add we can always minus it always clean your brush that's what it that's the secret over here we have to bring it up so the cup won't look real just cup we want that to blend it nice. We're gonna take a little bit white. We don't mix nothing with it, just white. We'll, we'll put it a little bit, let's do this here first. Let's put the tips a little bit. The tulip can be turned left and right. We will put a little bit one here there you go let's see let's take the blending brush let's take the blending brush and blend this just the, the ends don't go on the tip leave the tips white and we can in case if you mess it up we can always add here at the bottom to give a little bit Let's put this side to a little bit. Here we will blend. There you go. Let's put a little bit with white over here. Let's take the blending brush to do it here. 
We didn't want pink color, it came a little bit pinkish. Let's put more lizard crimson in the middle part. Just very whisper, very whisper, like very, very softly touch it. Okay, well, let's put here in the middle and push it. Just a little bit up. Now blend it. There you go. I think it looks very beautiful. Tulip. Now, I'm going to maybe very, very little, little, little add the tips over here again. Here and there. There. There you go, your tulip. Just let's softly. Now we can make just the tummy over here a little bit more rounder. There we go. Now We'll bring that out. Maybe we'll put a little bit. We'll add it here. And then let's put a little bit white. And here. Let's kind of more go down. Just a little bit softer to add white color. So it will make it softer, the bottom part. There. Hmm. There we go. Let's wipe it again and let's blend the color here together. There we go. Let's bend this softening. There we go. Here is my tulip. There. This blending brush, it's a really nice brush it is. <clears throat> if you have this, it will make your painting easier. And now we're gonna put a little stem here, bird sienna and lizard crimson, and then we'll add You can mix with a little yellow, green, yellow, and bird sienna. You know how it looks, the stem, so it's a, just a straight stem. And then you can do the leaves. Let's do this way, the leaves, because I have color over here. Just make it straight leaves, straight line, kind of bend it. We'll put a little bit.
when you put the white color, it will look like it's folded the leaves. Let's take a little bit more green with yellow. There we go. There we go. This came very, very nice. It just takes time. There we go. Here's the flower. Just let's give a little yellow at the tip over here. There we go. Here's your tulip. And I hope you like this. Let's blend here together. There we go. All right. Let's bring this white over here. Sometimes when you are painting, just go far away and look and see if you need to do anything else. I want to thank you for watching. And if you like it, please subscribe my channel. And if I can do anything, I would love to try to do it for you. All right. Thank you for watching again. If you like it, please subscribe my channel. Bye-bye.